So let's play out this scenario. You have a Steam Deck. You have Dungeon Keeper in your Steam library. But so far, you have refrained from installing Keeper FX. Maybe it's because it's designed exclusively for Windows, and as we all know, installing Windows software on the Steam Deck, whilst possible, is a lot more painful than we'd like to accept. So for this video, I am going to show you how to install Keeper FX onto your Steam Deck so that you can run the much more superior version of Dungeon Keeper on your Steam Deck. So first and foremost, head over to KeeperFX.net as we can see up on screen right now. And uh, we're just going to go straight for the download button. So it's currently downloading. Whilst we do that, one thing I highly recommend you do, if you are someone like me that installs all of their games onto their SD card, for this to work, you are going to need to take a copy of your Dungeon Keeper files and move them off of your SD card. Anywhere that's not on your SD card or other external storage device will do. So, for example, let's find another spot to drop this file. I'm just going to prop it up in desktop for now. So, there we go. All of my files are now copying to the desktop for Dungeon Keeper. So now that those files have been copied, if that was necessary for you, and the files themselves have been downloaded, let's open up that download file. And everything that's in here, we're just going to have to extract. Nice and simple, we are going to be extracting these to the desktop. Keeper FX. Now, so far, everything has been nice and simple, but this is where things will start to get a little bit more tedious. So next up, we will be moving into the Steam client just as soon as the extraction has completed. And over in the Steam client, once the extraction is finished, we're going to click Add Game and add a non-Steam game. This is the important bit. And then select Browse. We'll head over to our desktop and select Keeper FX and head down to the launcher. Be sure to click the launcher.exe file and not keeperfx.exe. The launcher is required. I don't know what I just pressed then by mistake. The launcher itself is required at this stage. If you were to try to launch Keeper FX straight off the bat, it simply won't work because it is missing all of the Dungeon Keeper files. So I will click add and then head over to launcher.exe. We can rename this if we want, but it's just not necessary. And if you were to click play right now, just as I did, nothing will happen because we have not yet told Steam to use this using a version of Proton. So we're going to head into properties and head over to compatibility and force it to use a specific compatibility tool. We'll just go with the most recent version of Proton. Close that and click play once more. And now it should, in theory, launch. If it doesn't, then I don't know what I did wrong. Here we go. It has launched. For a moment then, I didn't think it would, but it did. So next up, we're going to select installation and we're going to show it where our installation files are. Now, if you do have it on your SD card, I'm going to show you what happens if it's on your SD card and you did not move it. So let's head over to Steam Apps, Common. Head over to Dungeon Keeper, not Dome Keeper, Dungeon Keeper. And we're going to see that I, I can't do anything. I select the data folder, which is what it recommends on the various installation guides online. And this happens. The problem here is it can't actually read anything on the SD card. For some reason, Proton can't read external storage when it comes to installation folders like this. And I'm sure you've seen it before. So what we're going to do the proper way is head to our desktop. And here we go. It will take some time for you to find the desktop. If you're someone like me that doesn't know the way around Linux when using Proton. In this case, it was the Z drive under Home Deck Desktop and then Dungeon Keeper. So we're going to select Dungeon Keeper now and just select Open. 
We have now selected the folder. When copied, they will allow you to play the game. Do you want to copy the files from the selected folder? We just say yes. And hopefully it will take you a lot less time to find the installation folder than it did for me. Now we are ready to start the game. So we shall exit. There's no point in starting the game right now because we still need to add it to our Steam library. And uh, this Dungeon Keeper folder, we're not going to need it anymore. But this folder right here, we are going to need because this now has all of the files in it for Dungeon Keeper. And there's one more thing that we're going to change. And this is an optional thing for changing. If you are intending on playing Keeper FX on your Steam Deck in handheld mode, then you are going to need to change this one setting. If you are planning on playing it with mouse and keyboard as originally intended, you don't need to change anything. You can skip this step. But what we're going to be doing is heading down to one of these settings in the config file. Cursor edge camera panning. I really lost the ability to read there. We're going to change that setting to off. And what this will mean is when you are panning around using the control pad, if you're using the left stick to move around the screen, to pan around the screen, and the right stick to move the mouse, whenever your mouse slips too far to the left, right, up top, whatever it may be, it will not move the camera. It will not pan things and have you fighting. Trust me, it is a lot easier. So with that step done, we shall hit save, close that down. And the last thing we're going to do is rename this folder Dungeon Keeper FX and copy this folder. We're now going to head back to where Dungeon Keeper is installed with the rest of the Steam files and paste it right there. One more step to go. We're going to head back to Steam whilst that's still copying. And once again, we're going to add a non Steam game. We're going to hit browse and be careful not to stay on the desktop like I am right now we're going to head to where it is all saved. Steam apps, common, KeeperFX, and this time we are going with KeeperFX.exe. I'm going to hit OK, add selected programs, and for the last bit, before my cat starts making noise, we are going to head to compatibility one last time and make sure that the latest version of Proton or Proton Experimental is turned on. Now, we simply hit launch. Oh yeah, turns out I need to click the right one to launch. There's a reason why that's had the compatibility settings right and that's because I went to launch a .exe and not KeeperFX. Well done Hale. So now that we've selected the correct launcher to launch, we're going to hit play. And now this should work and here we go, we have Dungeon Keeper. And a quick edit from Future Hail. It turns out that I am just a little bit out of practice with OBS. And uh, yeah, it turns out that you can't actually hear me talking because of the audio levels. I'll just leave you a little snippet here. As we can see, Keeper FX, so we know there's Dungeon Keeper and Keeper FX. Yeah, so let's go through the whole rigmarole again. As you can see up on screen, Dungeon Keeper is working with Keeper FX. You can benefit all that you want from KeeperFX now running on your Steam Deck. If you found this useful, if you found it entertaining with me just fumbling my way through the video and you want to see more Steam Deck or even Dungeon Keeper related videos, feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know in the comments section down below if this worked for you. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video and we'll see just how much more I fumble up. Thanks again for watching everyone. See you in the next video.